I'm not sure what you like to do on your vacation, but I like to read, walk on the beach, snorkel, and watch geysers. Watch this clip if you don't know what I'm talking about, because geysers are freaking amazing. And vacations are awesome. And creating lasting memories is important. So today on the show, we'll be talking about how taking vacations works as a catastrophic adjuster. Are you looking for an IA firm where you're not just another number? Let me tell you about our sponsor, CCMS and Associates. CCMS has been called a big mom and pop firm because they care about their adjusters. They also care about results. The CCMS family is dedicated to training and developing a talented adjusting team. If you would like to be a part of their family, email your resume and cover letter and introduce yourself directly to careers at ccmsclaims.com. Hey IAs, it's Chris Stanley of IA Path. You know how most new adjusters cannot break into the industry? They struggle because companies have two to five years worth of experience as a requirement. And how can they get that experience? But don't worry, at IPATH, we get that experience waived with our 90-day online mentorship program. If you're interested, head over to IPATH.com. First off, let's establish what a catastrophic adjuster does. Cat claims, or catastrophic claims, results from a catastrophe. There are typically large numbers of losses occurring due to a single event. As a result, Insurance companies must allocate extra resources to handle the large influx of claims. Whether you work directly for an insurance company or as an independent adjuster, you may be sent or deployed to an area that has been devastated by a catastrophic event. Whether it's a weather event like a tornado, hailstorm, or hurricane, or a man-made event like an oil spill, adjusters are needed to handle the massive number of claims that have been filed as a result. Catastrophic insurance adjusters are normally required to travel to the affected areas to assist with those claims. And many times you'll receive dozens of claims to be handled before you even arrive on site. The most common types of cat claims are flood, wind, tornado, fire, and hail. Because their work aligns with major weather events, cat adjusters have busier seasons depending on the area. They also pay attention to hurricane predictions and other seasonal changes to plan when they may be needed. So how long do CAT deployments last? Basically, as long as you're needed. So how do you take or plan a vacation? Well, see, that's tricky. Typically, if you leave from a deployment or assignment, you will not be allowed to come back to resume earning income and you have to wait for the next chance that you have. So risking a week vacation in the middle of a storm can be a six figure mistake. My best advice is figuring out what type of work you're planning to do. If you plan on being a catastrophic adjuster, you know when the major opportunities for work are and if you don't, you should find out and plan around them. For five years, I did catastrophic claims and all my friends and family knew certain months I wouldn't plan on doing anything. They'd ask, will you be at the birthday party? My answer, not if I get deployed. So can you take a vacation as a cat IA? Yes, but you need to be prudent about it when you schedule it. To help you, I'll recap when the most active times for work tend to be. March to August, is hail season. If you wanna work hail, wind, or tornado claims, whether an auto, property, or desk adjusting, you don't wanna plan a wedding or vacation during those months. Hurricanes are always a possibility from August to October. So don't plan vacations until after hurricane season. Also, keep in mind, if you get a big deployment opportunity late in the year, you may be working all winter long. So when should you plan your vacation? As insurance adjusters, we need to be covered by insurance. 
we're writing estimates, climbing ladders, walking on roofs, and mistakes can happen. What are you going to do when something goes wrong? Kaplik it. CPLIC, or Kaplik for short, is an insurance company for independent adjusters formed by independent adjusters. They understand our job and the potential problems that can arise. If you want help understanding what coverages you need as an independent adjuster, head over to cplic.net slash adjuster TV for a free download that will explain the common types of insurance for adjusters. The best suggestion of when to plan a vacation for me is from December to March. March is the start of hail season, but it's typically limited. By April, the storms are ramping up and you'll need to be available in as little as 24 hours at any given point in time. So yes, you can take a vacation as a catastrophic adjuster, but if you do it outside of those months, you may miss a big opportunity and only you can decide if you're okay with that. So how do you plan a vacation? Well, I'm not getting into flight plans here, but if you're working closely with an IA firm and you're regularly communicating with them, I would communicate with them when you'll be unavailable during your vacation dates. You don't have to mention it to most people unless it's in the middle of storm season and they're gonna be counting on you, but I take it as a great opportunity to remind companies that you exist and to show your communication skills. Call up the head office and let them know you'll be unavailable one month in advance. Call them the week you're leaving and remind them, and then when you get back, let them know you're available again. This is three contacts with the company that you otherwise wouldn't have had. Use this to your advantage. You may be able to rise from obscurity because of the calls that help you land a deployment right after your vacation. Hey, maybe taking a vacation is a good idea after all. But I'll end with this. Although work is important and missing opportunities is never good, missing a family member's wedding, child's birthday, or an important memory is worse. If you have something you wanna be a part of, be willing to sacrifice opportunities. After all, why did you become an independent adjuster except that you wanted the good pay and freedom to live your life. Don't get caught in the hamster wheel and miss life. It isn't worth it, no matter how much money you could have earned. So keep walking your path and claiming your life. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love writing along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Myself and a growing list of industry experts will show you how to handle claims with confidence. We know it's hard to find a working adjuster who's going to let you shadow them, which is why we let you ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Check it out for seven days absolutely free at iPath.com slash TV. My name is Chris Stanley and we at iPath are dedicated to giving you actionable advice on how to have an amazing adjusting career that will help you break into the insurance industry so you can obtain freedom in your career and life. If you need help learning how to get work, head over to iPath.com and click the How to Find Work button. We'll send you a free video course that shares insider tips on how to get started. And until next week, keep walking your path and claiming your life.